Welcome to this snapshot of Netball Australia's Coach Accreditation Framework, applying progressive and contemporary learning models to netball coach development. The blended learning approach follows the flipped classroom model, where coaches learn the what of best practice coaching online and practice the how to coach at the face-to-face -face workshop. The Development Coach Accreditation is the second tier in Netball Australia's accreditation pathway and is the first course to incorporate a blended learning approach. The Foundation Coaching course went fully online in 2016. The Development Coach Accreditation is used here to highlight the benefits of moving to a blended learning environment. There are three steps to complete the Development Coach Accreditation. Step 1. Participants enrol in and complete the online development coaching course through My Netball Learning. This is followed by the Online Rules of Netball Theory exam, which is free of charge. Lastly, coaches enrol and intend a face-to-face -face development coach workshop. To complete this final step, coaches must be financial members of Netball Australia. Once all three steps are completed, coaches will receive their development coach accreditation. The benefits of a blended learning environment are numerous. The initial online learning is self-paced and flexible and includes videos of players demonstrating correct and incorrect technique for the development core skills, as well as experienced coaches modeling best practice coaching competencies. Coaches can also download the five training session plans and coaching tips shown during the online course. As coaches do their initial learning online, the face-to-face -face workshop can be coach-centered rather than presenter-driven, meaning coaches are actively coaching most of the time and are coaching players rather than one another. Coaches learn to self-assess their coaching competencies using feedback from the developer, peers and players. The online course consists of five modules covering theoretical, technical and tactical aspects of netball. The face-to-face -face workshop is facilitated by experienced coach developers and provides the opportunity for coaches to practice their coaching skills and to receive feedback on way to improve and develop their coaching competencies. What we want is for you to develop the five steps of the seven steps of progression. Now you've done your foundation course, you've done the online course, what are those steps? What's the first step? So tell them good, high knees, keep saying on your toes. Speak out loud, speak over their activity. Just make sure that you're not just giving the directions of, of the activity, that you're giving feedback on the activity. So while you're saying step forward, lunge down, you mm -hmm. need to be saying, keep your back straight, keep your hips in line, you know, those sorts of things. Make sure your knee is over your toe. Yeah. So they're your coaching points of the knee program. Yeah. Okay. Even if they're doing it, it won't yeah. hurt to say it. Strong leads, girls. Good boys, just watch your position. You're sort of in the middle of the group a little yeah. bit there. Oh, just okay. get yourself either over here. Okay, let's go and you might be able to rove around like this, or even if you want to, rove around the back, but not through the middle. I wonder how this is going to work in half the space. So this is out of bounds over here. Okay, same game, go. Okay, can I have all the red team get together and think about when you come on as either an attacker or defender, how can you do it better? Blue team over here, I want you to get to better together and think about as a team, whether you're attacking or defending, how can you do it better? What about when you're defending? Okay, so why is that a good strategy though? Because then they have less space to work in. Yeah, less space to work in and? I like the way, I like the way uh, Jane here is saying the coaching points. She's saying hands down, hands down, eyes up, eyes up, nice. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just good, well done. She's telling them what's good and what's well done, using the coaching points. So that's a good point for all of you. Yep. Demonstration should be at full speed and with a ball. We just brought up for these guys is we have three working and, and six standing. Yeah, yeah. So they should all have yeah. three witches hats and all doing it at the same time. Yeah? Uh, attackers doing split leads. What's the first um, rule of a split lead? Back does Okay, first person go wherever they like, great. Now in defence, I'd like everybody hands up. Why do we do that? 
to force the ball, force an error. Do you think they're doing the last one to do? Yeah. So they're red team, aren't they? So what, what would you say to them? Girls, that was really great. I love the way you two brought the ball down on the edge of the ring. Couldn't fault it. Fantastic. Fed it in from the edge all the time. Can I get you to try some fakes now then? Yeah. Really concentrate on putting some fakes in because your drives down were great. But don't be afraid to also give the feedback of the skill. Okay, so to improve performance, still feedback the skill. The goal defence. Now she should pass straight on the goal shooter up the middle. She gets there, now it should be in. No, 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 she's, she's in there too early. Yes. What you noticed to what the coach actually said. Well done girls, great effort. I really like the way you had hands over the ball over every pass and we, it was accumulating, wasn't it? So still relating to the, the original team plan. Nice safe passes coming out too. What was the other main goal that we were doing? That was defensively we were doing hands over, what was the other thing we were looking to do? So when you do goal as rotations, it may, it's another word for it is closed circle, and it's where the goalers are moving around in here. So I've got circle, a whiteboard to show them. Passes are from here. So just short, sharp, brief. We'll work on it at training. Throughout the workshop, coaches complete a self-assessment performa based on the feedback they receive from the coach, developer, and peers. It's called a you know self-assessment performa. So it's about you realizing the things that you need to improve on or acknowledging some of the things that you're good at or that at least today you were good at. The self-assessment incorporates the coaching competencies for the development level coach. It is an important process as it enables coaches to fully understand each competency and to identify their strengths and areas for continued development to work on with a mentor following the course. Blended learning, an innovative approach to coach accreditation enabling coaches to learn theoretical, technical and tactical concepts of netball. Learning online coaching at home, then applying this in practice on court.